Story for you right now, the latest on the coronavirus, and tonight there are some new concerns regarding hospital capacity. And this comes as hospitalizations along with the state's positivity rate continue to climb. In the last day, in fact, almost a quarter of the people who have been tested for COVID have come back positive. More than 100 new people have also been hospitalized. Tonight we learned that Bacchus Hospital used up all their ICU beds earlier today. Joining us now with what all of this means and how nurses are dealing with the stress as well is Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne. Christian. Hi, the market. Yeah, despite Bacchus Hospital says they're filling up today, but Hartford Healthcare System claims they are maintaining capacity well, but that could soon all change, and their numbers could surpass the 2020 numbers, which was the peak of the pandemic. As Omicron and Delta plow through Connecticut, hospitals are feeling the strain, especially emergency rooms. I'm tired of watching people die. I'm tired. How many? How? I know a lot of my friends are having a lot of emotional issues because we've just seen too much death in the last two years. Sherry Dayton is a registered One, nurse inside the Bacchus Hospital so Emergency Department. She says the ER has beds and hallways and nurses are often working doubles. Tonight, that hospital senior vice president confirms every bed was filled at one point today. Bacchus has 12 beds in its ICU and has expended to 18 as part of the surge plan. It's not just COVID patients. There's, you know, no beds are no beds. If there's no beds for COVID patients, there's no beds for your stroke, your heart attack, your car accident, your, there's no beds. In response, hospital officials say Bacchus is uniquely built to expand and contract however necessary. We are at the point right now where we are, our staff is stepping up on every single day, every single moment. One little extra moment or um, uh, hard work they're doing at this time to manage the need at the moment. Statewide, more than 1,500 people are hospitalized. Nearly 70% of them are not fully vaccinated. However, the number of people in intensive care and ventilators is much lower than last year. But Dayton, who is part of the nurses' union, says staffing needs to be addressed and there needs to be more testing so people don't end up packing the ERs. People who don't need to die are dying because of this. We Nurses intuitively watch their patients, they know when things are going wrong, but if we can't be in the room, we can't catch things. And if we have six patients or more, seven patients for one in an ER, that's not safe. Officials who say the ER is filled with people who just want to know whether they have COVID or not, or they have mild symptoms. They do remind people that only go to the ER, the ER if you have severe symptoms like shortness of breath, uh, chest pain or strokes. In Hartford, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.